Hi, everybody. My name is Erez Berkner from Checkpoint, and what I would try to cover today is take one of the main use cases of customers moving to the cloud, talk about the security challenges of that, cost of, of that use case, talk about how Checkpoint uh, allow you to secure and uh, address the different challenges of that use case, and show a demo and all of this in 10 minutes. Sorry, nine. John runs a tight shift here. So, hang tight. You're ready for this? Yes. Yeah? Right. I need a little bit more energy. Ready for this? Yes. Thank you. OK, great. So, hang on. So a little bit about Checkpoint. Checkpoint was founded in 1993. Since 1997, we've been Gartner's uh, leaders in advanced security in um, the Magic Quadrant. More than $1.7 billion uh, in revenues in last year, more than 4,000 employees and over 100,000 uh, customers. And we're protecting cloud since 2008 and up to, the day, to these days with all major cloud providers. And the use case I chose to talk to you about is protecting your web servers. So customer moving to uh, the cloud, wanting to put his workloads on the cloud, enjoy the elasticity and scalability of his um, web presence. So, uh, of course, he would need to run uh, Google instances uh, on the cloud, and they will scale up and down as he needs. In this example, I chose a customer who decided to keep his databases on-premise, so he have his on-premise presence where his database are, and this customer also want to allow his remote uh, workers to do remote uh, maintenance on his uh, cloud uh, uh, web servers. So this is kind of the, the environment I want to talk about. When we talk about challenges of this environment, there are several. First of all, uh, Google allow, and any cloud provider allow you to segment your environment. That's very, very important, but that's the basics. So you want to segment your production from your dev, from your test. That's uh, uh, needed and that's the basic, but segmentation is not enough. You need to be able to look into the transaction, to look into the web request, to look what is going from the web to the application to the database, and be able to say whether this is a legitimate transaction or this is a malware trying to propagate. Because today, you cannot segment at the actual virtual machine level because everything is connected. Everything is hyper-connected, web to application, to database, to web servers, to CRM, et cetera. This is what the business today requires. So, one of the things you need to be careful about is having a server in your environment infected and that infection spreading within your environment. So it's, all, it's enough to have one server infected uh, if you don't have the right means to get your entire segment, your entire environment infected with malware. So this is kind of one of the main uh, concerns of this environment. The other is how do I connect this spreaded data center which is on-premise and off-premise in the cloud, how do I connect it in a secured way? Uh, I want to allow my remote employees to connect securely to the uh, uh, web servers, and I want the web servers to be able to connect securely to the database, because to the databases, because uh, I want to be able to avoid man-in-the-middle attacks or someone sniffing and looking at my private uh, data. So this is concern, uh, uh, the second concern I wanted to talk about. So this is exactly what a Checkpoint uh, uh, with Google I work together in order to uh, uh, provide customers. This uh, product name, our product family name is called VSEC. This is our Checkpoint solution for uh, cloud security. And we're announcing today a Checkpoint VSEC for Google Cloud Platform. Um, and I'm going to show you how uh, VSEC allows you to actually answer those challenges. But before we move on, I do want to mention that this is, um, VSEC is a cross-cloud solution, so we're supporting all the major cloud vendors today, starting from on-premise, VMware, uh, software-defined network, and Cisco, and AWS, and Azure, and OpenStack, and Nuage, and uh, Alibaba Cloud, and now Google, which is very strategic and important step for Checkpoint. And VSEC allow you to, allow you to have a pers persistent security policy managing your assets 
from different clouds. So if you are, have a multi-cloud, you're using GCP and AWS, and you have on-premise VMware and GCP, you have one security policy managing everything, including your physical on-premise devices. So let's go back to uh, the scenario we've discussed. So we have our web apps, and now let's say we add VSEC deploying this in within Google Cloud. So first of all, we need to, to, to care about attacks originating from external, because a virtual machine in the cloud is under, uh, with, with public IPs under constant attack. And the attackers need to succeed only once. And you guys need to be able to stop them 100% of the time. So first and foremost, we need to inspect the packets. We need to inspect the transaction to understand whether there is some threat on those transactions. So this will protect you from external threats. This is north-south security from external to your data center in the cloud. And this will allow you to uh, stop malware before it arrives. So if the malware arrives, the VSEC will identify, block it, and log the event. More than that, uh, if we think forward, we talked about the fact that we, even if somehow a server got infected, we don't want this to spread around. So VSEC provides you east-west security within the environment, between the data centers. So malware is not able to propagate laterally moving within the environment. This is east-west threat uh, prevention. Our remote uh, uh, workers can now use SSL VPN with the same device in order to have encrypted connections to the environment, and of course, site-to-site -site VPN covering our web-to-database uh, transaction. All of this with a single uh, solution. It's the same solution. It's the same engine. A few more points about this. First of all, this is a unified management. You have one consistent policy. You're able to use Google objects within your security policy, and whenever anything changes, IP changes, et cetera, this automatically adapts. No manual operation you need to do. This is very, very strong around automation. So it's one-click provisioning. It scales automatically as you need, so you can scale linearly as you need more security power, and it prov provides auto-protection. New virtual machine is there. You don't need to do anything. It will be protected automatically. Uh, it's open in terms, everything is API-based and CLI-based, very strong in terms of performance. We have o over five gigs of throughput uh, of performance per VM with four cores, and you can adjust it as, as you like. And we are partnering with VMware very strongly on the R&D and product side, so we're supporting all, many beta and alpha um, features like the uh, XPN, which is very, very strong offering. Uh, I won't have time to talk about it, but I, I guess some of you know it, Multinic, and we're having test drive to test, to, to allow you to test our solution very easily. So I want to do a quick demo. I wish I could. Okay. Okay, this is live movie. <laughs> so anything can go wrong. So this is, this is a Google Launcher. We are on Google Launcher. You choose whether you want pay-as-you-go, which is, which is a Google-based, or a checkpoint license. And on this template, you choose how many cores you like, what is the region, which networks you want to secure, and whether you want this to be standalone or a part of a larger uh, management you have on, on your on-premise. And you click Submit. And that's it. Uh, on the background now, a new virtual machine is created. The networks are being connected. The interfaces of the checkpoint VSEC is being created. The IPs are being assigned. And if we log into the web interface of checkpoint, you will be able to see that this is checkpoint. Uh, I identify this as Google, Google Cloud Platform, because we need to use all the Google object and integration. And you can see all the interfaces are up already with IPs which are configured automatically by the system, and that's it, and the device is up. So very, very easy to take this and move from an environment not protected to environment fully protected by checkpoint. Okay, I, I'm gonna run through this because um, John is giving me kind of a hint, but 
Um, I do want to a couple of slides about how this actually looks like. So this is what you get at the end of the day. This, for example, is a report of access control, which application are running, which users are uh, running, which IPs, what threats do you have. Uh, this is an example of threat prevention. How, what, which threat do you have? Do you have malware? How many where? Which geographies, etc. And this is very common for remote access. So I currently have 33 connected remote access. And user, I can drill down anything here is clickable. Very, very nice. Last slide, John. Um, if, are, are, are any startups in the cloud? Just me? OK, OK. So for you, sir, we're going to have a, a new startup program. It's not published yet. So next week, it's going to be published. We're going to give one year of free, uh, free security. This is joined by Checkpoint and Google. If you're interested, just contact me. We have a, the launcher. We also have a Checkpoint in test drive. So we can just run it on Checkpoint uh, environment. You don't need to pay anything to get the feeling of how this is actually behaves. And you're welcome to follow up, uh, follow us uh, for more updates on product and features which we have. Thank you very much.